It is so sweet to trust in Jesus. So sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take him at his word. Just to rest upon his promise. Just to know thus said the Lord Jesus 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 how I trust you how I've proved you over and over Jesus 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 Precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust you more. Oh, for grace, oh, for grace to trust you more. Oh, for grace, oh, for grace, we love you, Jesus. Come on and lift your hands this morning and tell them you love him. We love you, Lord. We love you, Master. God, we put our trust in you this morning. We love you, Lord. We love you. Oh, come on and just love on him for just a few more minutes. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Minister to us, God. Speak to us from your word. Our hearts are open. We are ready to receive from you. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, for grace to trust you more. Now listen on this morning, I'm talking about how to tap into the peace of God. This is coming from Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 through 9. I'm actually using the New Living Translation this morning because it brings it out a little better. Listen to this. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. So what the word of God is telling us through the apostle Paul is we trade our worries for the peace of God as we go to God in prayer and tell God everything that's on our minds, everything that's on our hearts. He is a father. He is a loving father who cares deeply about his children. Listen to what Colossians chapter three, verse 15 says, and then I'll come back to Philippians. The Bible says, and, no, I'm sorry about that. I wanted to read 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7 first. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7 says, Give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares about you. You do this in prayer. As you pray, as you talk to God about it, what happens in that moment, in that moment of prayers, the Holy Spirit of God begins to take those heavy load off of you, the things that's burdening you down, the things that that's ha- that have you worried, the thing that even have you anxious and fearful and doubtful. The Holy Ghost begins to take that away from you and he begins to impart the peace of God. But it happens as you commune with God and conversate with God and talk to him and tell him about everything that's weighing you down. Now listen to this. So he said, let's read this again, verse 6 of Philippians 4. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace. You see that? Now watch this. You will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Listen to what Paul goes on to say in verse 8. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts 
on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Keep putting into practice all you learn and receive from me. Everything you heard from me and saw me doing. Then the peace of God will be with you. And Colossians chapter 3 verse 15 says, And let the peace of God that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. And the peace of God begins to rule in our hearts as we go to God in prayer, as we meditate on the word of God, as we worship God under the anointing of the Holy Ghost through other people that's anointed to help usher you into the presence of God. As you come in to the presence of God, the Holy Ghost begins to lift those burdens from off your shoulder. That's why, that's why 1 Peter 5, 7 says, casting all your cares on him. That's how the King James says it. Casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. And we do that in prayer. We do that as we just open our hearts up to God and humble ourselves and tell him everything that we are dealing with, everything that we are going through, everything that's bothering us, everything that we are fearful about, we are thinking about bills. How are we going to get the new house? How are we going to get the new car? About the job, about the marriage situation, about the sickness, the disease, whatever it is, the Bible says, cast all of your cares on him. Paul says it like this, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then and only then, you will experience God's peace which exceeds anything we can understand. Let me just sing a chorus of this song. It's called, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. It's an old song, but I just want to sing one verse of this to you. This was on my heart before I came and do this recording. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our griefs and sins to bear. My God, my God. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Watch this. Can we find a friend so faithful who will all our sorrows bear? My God, my God. Jesus knows my every weakness. Take Get to the Lord in prayer. Tis so sweet. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take him at his word. Oh, just to rest. You know, I just feel the Holy Ghost right now. I just feel the Holy Ghost is imparting the peace of God into your life, into your spirit, into your mind, into your soul, into your body. I just want you to repeat these words after me right now. Say, Lord Jesus, I give you all of my troubles. I give you all of my fears, all of my doubts, all of my worries. God, I release it to you right now. God, you never intended for me to carry this load. So I release it to you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God, I give it to you. I give it to you. I just feel the Holy Ghost is lifting burdens here this morning. I feel the Spirit of God. I feel the peace of God. I feel weights are being lifted from people's shoulders. I feel chains are being broken and falling to the ground right now. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Break every chain, my God. In the name of Jesus. There is power in that name. There is power in the name of Jesus. There's power in that name. There is power in the 
name of Jesus. To break, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There's an army, cause there's an army rising up. There's an army, there's an army rising up. There's an army, there's an army rising up. There's an army to break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain. Come on and lift your hands to heaven this morning. God, I pray for every brother, every sister that's tuning into this broadcast right now. Lift every burden from off their shoulders. Break every shackle, God. Break every shackle right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Give them your peace. Impart your peace to them, God. I cast on every imagination, every fretful thought, everything that makes them worried and overburdened and have sleepless nights. Lift those burdens right now in the name of Jesus. God has given someone the victory right now. God's given someone victory. I feel the weights lifting from off your shoulders right now. I feel the burdens lifting right now in the name of Jesus. I feel it lifting. I feel it lifting right now. My God, all of my strength. My God. My God. My help. My help. My God. My help. All of my help cometh from the Lord. My help, my help, my help. Sing it. All of my help cometh from the Lord. Listen, you know we love you guys. We appreciate you. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the bell or the red and white button. If you're watching us through Facebook, like us on Facebook. Follow us on Facebook. Share this broadcast. Be a blessing to somebody. Somebody needs to know how to tap into the peace of God on this morning. And you know we need you guys. We need your support. Sow a seed into the work of God. Sow a seed. We appreciate you. We do not take what you do for granted. We love you guys. And we look forward to being with you again on tomorrow morning as we talk about it's working together for your good. God bless you. Take care now. Bye-bye.